All right, we back once again with another video. And we're gonna be talking about uh, some new indicators that I thought were interesting that I found the other day. Uh, yesterday, as a matter of fact, polarity divergence and the cumulative volume delta candle. So uh, basically what I, I was looking at was TradingView itself actually put out some pretty decent scripts. Um, I think they're really fascinating. This one's really cool. It's gonna give you the uh, cumulative volume delta so the delta is going to be the difference between the buy and the sell and it's going to put it in candle form so you can uh, start to get an idea of the uh, buying and selling that's happening underneath uh, underneath uh, the candle and uh, get a better picture of who is in control sort of just like watching order flow uh, and then the polarity divergence which I think is super interesting um, as well because it is going to basically be multi time frame uh, confluence for you it's going to be reading the lower time frames and looking at the direction so the bar polarity is looking at the direction of the bar based on open and close to so the lower time frame so for example if you're uh, anything less than a day so say you're on the hour or the 30 minute or 15 minute chart it's looking at the one minute every one minute bar and what it's going to do essentially is calculate it and give you these um, divergences here uh, so, so say for example, this is the 10 minute. Uh, we'll just use regular candlesticks here for a second. So the 10 minute here, uh, this would this would mean that uh, if this was a green bar, that the majority of the one minute candlesticks closed red here. Um, the same thing here. This is a red bar. Majority of candlesticks closed green, and so on and so forth. Essentially, uh, you know, the lower the time frame, I think a little bit more. Uh, gonna, the signal is going to be a little bit more sketchy, but I think that's super interesting to catch uh, reversals if you can, uh, you know, get the right time frame frame set up and everything. So you got the delta, the volume delta here since the open of futures, um, and they're still being uh, pricks and buying everything for now, but uh, I doubt that continues. Uh, but you can see how uh, it'll actually uh, throw in divergences too. It'll highlight the divergences uh, for you. And here's today's action on the cumulative delta for NQ. You can see where uh, they just started buying it right away, and there's a really nice trend in the volume all the way up. Uh, and uh, that basically led to uh, some really nice dip buying uh, going on throughout the day. Uh, so those two indicators are really cool. Uh, another one that I like that I don't know if everybody, I've never seen anybody use it. I know there's people that do because it's uh, got a lot of uh, ratings, but the technical ratings chart I think I've done videos about this before, but I really like the technical readings uh, chart from TradingView because basically what it is is it's taking uh, the buy and sell indicators that TradingView uses. Let's like just take uh, Tesla for example right here, and you can come here and see if uh, your ticker is in a buy or sell uh, based on all these technicals. So relative strength, uh, awesome oscillator, momentum, MACD, blah, blah, blah. And it'll basically uh, rank them all for you. You got the moving averages as well. And uh, so uh, that's really cool. And then you've got it based on time too. So uh, I, I like to keep it here just because we're gonna be sitting in a certain time frame, and it'll tell you whether to buy or sell. So you got the technicals, you got pretty much every technical that anybody uses if you're just a basic technical analyst. Then you've got the order flow with the with the volume, looking at the delta, looking at the who's in charge. And then you've also got the bar, the bar polarity, which is really cool because you're gonna get the price action divergences using the lower time frame. So you get a little bit of a heads up on uh, potential reversals. You can see it's pretty choppy. Again, on the lower time frames, it's pretty choppy. I've actually been using it with the Heiken Ashi as a, uh, just to kind of smooth it out a little bit. Uh, but yeah, so look, so we're getting a little bit of a divergence there. Do we see any divergence in volume yet? Not really. Uh, and we're at all buy, so essentially you would not be shorting here. Uh, unlike me right now, which I am shorting here. But uh, according to this, you probably wouldn't. Just to make it easy, I'm always trying to look for new indicators that just make life easier if I can combine them or use them. Uh, TradingView also has this one right here, which I really like, the rolling VWAP. I don't know if you guys are using the regular VWAP, which resets every day. This one doesn't reset every day. It's just rolling day by day. Uh, so this is going to be the daily. Uh, so that's really cool. You can throw bands on that too. You're going to have the upper and lower band based on whatever standard deviation you like. 
And then uh, you also got, um, there's one more that I really, really like, and uh, that's this one, volume profile, periodic volume profile. So they finally added in this periodic volume profile uh, so you can make it uh, however many bars you want. I like to use the 20 because a lot of people use the 20 uh, bar moving average. And now you got a volume profile, you got the volume profile for the last 20 bars and, the, and their value uh, area lows, highs. If you're a volume profile trader, you understand what I'm saying. If you're not, let me know in the comments. I'll do videos on volume profile and how to use it, uh, how I use it anyways. And you've got the point of control and you've got your volume profile. Now you've got your your delta uh, for buying sales over time. You've got your price action, uh, you know, essentially your, your lower time frame price action uh, divergences, which are built right into the chart. And you've got all your technical indicators all confluenced into one buy, you know, basically one buy or sell um, signal. So uh, really cool little setup that, I, you know, basically just using all the free stuff that TradingView has already made. So uh, really cool. If you like this video, let me know in the uh, description, in the comments. <laughs> I'll leave a link to this layout in the description if you want to mess around with these. And we'll see you next time. Peace.